Hello everyone, welcome back to, um, oops, welcome back to Ray Farms everyone. Just unloaded a thing of silage into the bagger. Um, silo, the silo is, aren't working well today, so we are going to be, um, doing it the other way. I had to get all the way to the John Deere and chopper, get the other wagon. Get unloaded. Hopefully, we'll get it unloaded. Got two fields to chop today. It's um, September 1st. It's raining. Hopefully, we'll get a good chance of sunshine today. Hopefully. Ah, probably missed the road. Oh well. We'll just turn up in here. Got hay fields. Everything else. Dairy farm is doing holy shit. I forgot about that damn side. I have to get. Well, I have to buy a disc. I forgot to get one. Sometime. I need a disc badly, so we'll get all that cut. We'll get all that tillage up after we get done chopping. Once we do that, we need to buy um. Hay bind, so we can hay bind half the field, half our um, fields out here, so we can um, bail them, get them tethered, bailed up, and ready to go for cattle. Hopefully, I don't know. All right, looks like there's the wagon. Like stop like right here. I shipped it up. I guess we weren't done yet. Just a little bit of disclaimer. It's going to be very fun in Farm Simulator 25 when it comes out. Since it's going to have a tornado in it, I'm going to have fun with that because I'm going to. I'll probably have fun with that. Hopefully, the map, this. Hopefully, West by Wisconsin will get um, taken to Farm Simulator 25 doesn't I'll still buy it anyways but if it's got any like other Wisconsin maps I'll go with it stop it there turn the um watch harvester around yeah this is a as I said this is a giant hay field right here Alright, detach that. I'll turn the harvester back around. Ooh boy, it's raining out there. Uh, let me check something. Uh, see, we doing well. I need, um, let me get a different hat on. Let me find it. Uh, other than that, ah, there we go. We had a different jacket in here. Let's go with that. Alright, confirm. Oh man, it's cold out. It's cold. It's cold. The rain cold. I did not mean to do that. Oh boy, grass is tall. Grass is tall as crap. And we'll have to bring it in. Hey, Bonnie, out here. I think my neighbor's got one for sale. He wants one. He wants about fifteen hundred for it. Is what he wants. All right, let's get this wagon out of here and get it in the bagger. Don't turn on the ground muddy and nasty. We don't get it out. If we don't get this silage wagon out of here, it's going to cause a lot of trouble for us. It's 
like 30 degrees, like 30 degrees outside. Ooh, boy, that. <laughs> I'm turning the air, I'm turning the darn heater on. There we go, it's on. Man, it's cold out there. I don't think I'm gonna drive on that road with this um, wagon. If we do, we're gonna tip the sucker over out here. this hill with this wagon. Alright, try and turn it in the wrong just in case people are coming up this way. He put some signals on the back of this trailer. On the back of this trailer. So, where he left the truck out, I see. Well, as long as it ain't hailing, I'll be fine, hopefully. Tractor and bagger. Crap, the tractor's not on. Shit. That means we'll have to turn the sucker on in the pouring rain. Yeah, shit. Oh well, what do we gotta do? Gotta line the bit. Ah, almost close enough. Alright, tractor's on. Alright, let's start unloading. Yeah, I know some have to say it far away. In reality, you have to at least, with one of these wagons, you have to at least get close to it. At least close to the, um, bagger if not you'd be um losing a lot of silage like right here and stuff but it's actually kind of cool you got a good silage animation for it how much plan on is try to get it all the way down to that fence line all the way down there we'll probably have to buy a secondary ag bag, ag bag. i don't get why i got that on there i need to take that off sometime I know you do. Alright, I guess while it's doing that, I guess we'll look at mowers. Go here. Uh, ah, there we go. Mowers. Nah, don't like that. Hate Cahoon. Don't like Pottinger. Don't like Elo. Ah, what do we got here? We got a 538 Ford, a 9-footer, nine, nine and a 7-footer. It looks like a um, International Harvester header. It's like one of them self-propelled headers. Seven foot at eleven ninety. A nine foot at eleven ninety. Fourteen ninety. Fifteen ninety. Hmm. I wonder. What is this? Uh huh. All right. Guy looks like he's got good. I'll think about that one. Ooh, what do we got here? Avco. Mm hmm. This is the Avco new idea. Before I think Avco bought it out. This is another Avco on. There we go. New idea Avco again. Ah, little Avco con. Little Avco self propelled. 5112. I guess. Eh, don't go with a lot of Avco crap. This is the burger version. I don't know, let's see. I got it standing up. I don't like them standing up. We would go with maybe this one. Who knows? We might go with this one. Or we can go with one of them internationals. I don't know. Alright, we're unloaded. Head back to the chopper.
Let me go find the cattle trailer. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if someone's got a cattle trailer. Let's see. I think the dealership's got... Yeah, I think the dealership's got one for sale. I don't think they got it in, uh... I think this color. Yeah, I think they do. Alright, let's just purchase it. We'll need it. I have to figure out home. I don't care about market values. I don't care about nothing. I gotta find out where the cattle place is at. Hopefully there's one on this map. If not, I'm sh Yeah, there you go. Right down the road from the dealership, looks like. I just don't want to travel far from the dealership to get there. It's tiresome, I'm going to tell you that. Chopping all this silage. Trying to get enough work done. Gotta get the combine ready to start shelling corn soon. Gotta buy it. Well, you know what? Since we're right here, let's buy that um, hay bind. Let's buy the hay bind. What's hay bind was I thinking? Uh, I think it was going to be... I've got with the 5111. 5114 I meant, not 5111. So be great behind our Maxim tractor. Crap, hold on. I think they also got some other things. We need a tether, a rake. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. That, ah, shit. No. Let's see what Dunn and Baylor's they got. Ooh, they got a Heston 5580. Look at a new hole in 6488. Looks nice. Looks nice. They have a mirror. What is it? 605 in? Takes a. Shit, 100, 100 horsepower. We got John Deere 100. Nah, I'm not a fan of that. I think I'll go with this for now. Now, last two things a header and a rake. Uh, let's see, we got tether. Let's go with the HS. There we go. And then, last thing, we'll go with a rake if I can find the damn things. I fucking hate when somebody organized my damn shit and I can't fucking find shit anywhere. Alright, great. Windrowers. I always fucking forget it's fucking windrowers. Eh, I guess we'll go with this damn thing. Oh, is this shit? Holy shit, that shit costs a lot of damn money. Oh, well, once we get these fields done, they don't have to worry about it because they won't have to go through the corn. That's what you always do. Always stay divided. That's what I say. And stay diverse. See? These three fields are for chopping. These three fields are for money. The dairy's for um, money. And no one can be on the haze for cattle. Along with the silage as well. It might lighten up here soon. <clears throat> oh shit, we should not even be driving the damn thing all the way out here. Shut the damn thing off and fucking run like hell. Oh shit, it's cold. It's cold as hell. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. <gasps> We're back in here. Hack the damn thing up. Alright, hook it up. Right, I guess we'll start chopping it. Start chopping it again. When we get up here to this hill, we gotta watch out for that, um... There's a tree up here that's in the field. We're gonna have to get somebody with a chainsaw to come out here and um get rid of it, I guess. We'll have to buy a chainsaw and get rid of it ourselves. That's what we'll have to do, I say. I'll have to get this field knocked out so I don't have to worry about no other fields out here. 
Yep, all right. Dead center right there, if you can see it. Dead center in that area. I have to probably get my friend out here so he knows how to um, take care of that crap. All right, no, we don't need to go. I guess we could. Oh, shit, I almost thought that was a damn ditch line. So I fucking lost the damn chopper. Put in the comments which is better, self-propelled chopper or pull-behind chopper. Which ones do you like better? To me, I think I like the self-propelled chopper a little bit more better than the um, pull-behind one. I mean, you get it a little bit. I mean, the um, pull-behind ones. I mean, you usually have like a two-row, maybe three-row header. But with the um, self-propelled, you can have a um, how to say. Six row, maybe a 13 footer. I don't know really. I was just saying different ones because I really never used a. Uh... How the fucking hell did that two row miss the shit? How the hell does the damn two row fucking work now? I wonder I got rid of the damn thing. It didn't want to fucking work well. Excuse the damn language, but it's the truth. It didn't want to work very well, so I had to get rid of it. Oh, man. I mean, I never use a self propelled Oh, shit. No wonder why I had to avoid it. There's a lot of weird water mark, water areas out here. I don't recognize why, but um, no questions. I don't want to answer them questions. I don't know why there's a lot of them out here. I guess because this is like water lines and stuff out here running through here. So, better not ask a lot of questions, I say. All right, let me do something, and three, two, one, there we go. All right, we got it. Oh man, I hate it when it rains. I mean, in real life, I do love it when it, holy shit, is that a damn sinkhole? Guess it is a sinkhole something. In reality, Whenever you hit a sinkhole, really, the machine would not want to go over it. Especially if you're chopping with it. I say some of y'all might have hit sinkholes with it. I say, I don't know. Might have hit sinkholes with a tractor, maybe a rake. Maybe a um, mower. I mean, I've never hit one with a mower before, but I never hit one with a rake. <laughs> I'll get full here soon again. And I wonder I chose the six row header. It gets everything done faster. Almost there. I'll we'll have to pull off in about three, two, one. Alright, pulling off. Alright, we'll just, uh, how to say, we'll just park the, um, oh, we need to um, lift the header up. Unhook it right there. We'll move the um, chopper back over here. Man, it reminds me of the 90s. Shoo! That was a good time to chop silage. Got rid of that. Um, I used to own a 7740 with the New Holland 900. Alright, let's get through this crop. Crap. Dang it. Ow, must. Shit, that shit hurts like hell. Alright. Shit, gotta turn it on. Right, let's get the damn thing turned around and head back over there. Oh man. No wonder I traded that 7740 out. This thing looks a lot more better than it does hauling them dang wagons up there. I should get a Ford and Genesis character. I've been hearing those good tractors. And 
man don't want to get too big. Don't want to get in debt with the bank. That'll be bad. Getting in debt with the bank. Want to get out of that crap no matter what. Now, my plan is hold on to the corn, get rid of the soybeans, and then whenever the corn prices are good, get the corn, get rid of the corn, we'll have a clean bin open. And the amount of money we got left, paying the bank off. Oh shit, I don't think we're going to, oh shit, what the fuck? Nah, I think you did that shit because of the um, other wagon, I say. Figure out the damn shaft. Nope, almost run. Nope, run over it. Alright, come on, Jake. Hook it up. Alright, we're out of here. Shit, that might be the most damn heaviest wagon ever now. Alright, let's take another screenshot. Alright, there we go. Two screenshots for the thumbnail. I'll probably take a third one of us unloading this in the size wagon. I mean, this is part of the Maxim series. I mean, the other Maxim series is a little bit different. It looks more like the Magnum series. I guess since you got, like, the Magnum series, the Maxim series, the um, Farmall series, I mean, and you got a lot of different tractor series of case. And that's a case IH and international J.I. case tractors. It surprised me very well that they got a lot of tractors. Alright, we're back down in here. I guess uh, I guess this will be our main area for um, silage and stuff, I guess. For um, the silage bagger. Shit, we're not doing too damn well in this damn way. We can't fucking hardly turn the damn thing. As I'm speaking right now, my dad and them is chopping silage with a um, John Deere 6400. I wish I had that. I wish I had the exact same stuff that they are using. That'd be fun. Alright, let's get the last... Oh shit, wrong damn thing. Let's get the last screenshot of this. Alright. Alright. Three pictures for the thumbnail, everyone. Yeah, it looks... I think some of them's gonna be a little bit blurry. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. I think half the damn shit. Alright, so that 23%. Bagger is up off the air for some weird reason. Uh, I guess part. This damn thing's not going to the fucking ground, is it? Oh shit. Hopefully it's not. Shit, it might actually go on the fucking ground. No. No, I don't think it is. I mean, maybe a little bit of it is, but, um, well, we're on a uneven area. It's kind of weird, because, I mean, I'm used to a, um, silage bagger, like, moving the tractor, but I guess Farm Someone does not have that mechanic. Well, anyways, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. Um, comment down below which one of the tractors are your favorite and what tractor or equipment you want to see in the next video. I'll see y'all again soon.